All right, so uh, somebody had uh, hit me up, asked me how you um, load up files on BeatMaker from an external website or whatever, like you have samples from somewhere else. So I'm just gonna um, just run through how you would do this really quick. So, so the first thing you wanna do is like, once you have your um, session set up and whatever, you wanna press this key here, the one that has like the computer and the phone, press that one there. And then whatever service you use, I use I happen to use um, Dropbox, so I would just go to Dropbox.com, and I'm already loaded. I'm, I'm already logged in, but I'm gonna log out to show you just to show you how you would do it. So you just simply hit log in. and then you just sign in from here. So I'll do that real quick. All right, so I'm gonna sign in now. As you can see, uh, um, you know, it, it shows you at the top how much space you've used in your Dropbox and whatnot. And then what you would do here is, let's say, I want um, to have this distorted drum breaks, right? Now, if I just want to bring one of those over, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit that one and then hit the arrow over it to bring that one over, okay? And now you can see that it's right there at the top. But let's say I want to bring the entire folder over. So I'm going to go back out, and I'm going to go back and where is it? Distorted drum breaks. Now, if I hit that same arrow that I hit before, it'll bring the entire folder over, like so. All right, so what you can see is that now the distorted drum breaks is now in my uh, folder, my My Content folder. Now, once you have a folder in there, let's say you have a folder in there and you or, an, or a file in there, let's say you no longer want it there, They're like, oh man, like for example, this asset music, I already have that because it's in that distorted drum breaks. So what I'm gonna do is highlight it and then press the minus key. It's gonna ask me if I would want to delete it, confirm, and it's gone, okay? But Dropbox is a little bit different. You can do that here, but you still have to go in Dropbox and permanently delete it. But uh, yeah, so this is how you would do that. Hope this helps you out, and I'll catch you next week on the beat grind. Actually, you know what? I got more tutorials to come, so this is just the first one, because uh, somebody literally just hit me up on Instagram to ask me how to do this, so I said I would put it up. All right, y'all. I'll catch y'all. Peace.